Well, here we go. A couple of things. Uh, one less important. I think that the, the Academy Awards happened. I don't know anything about it. When I say I, I didn't listen to it, basically because uh, I had this whole thing with uh, Delroy Lindo, who, who did uh, The Five Bloods, you know, The Five Bloods. The reason why, if, if you ever get any emails and stuff like that from now, you see I always use the instead of the, like, like to, instead of T-H-E, I put the now, because that's in honor of Delroy Lindo and, and uh, his performance in The Five Bloods. Extraordinary performance. And it's one of those things, that's, it should have been under the, uh, what do you call that, the uh, Best Supporting Actor, because it's like an ensemble cast, but he's you know, one of the cast like that. In fact, you know who else was supposed to be under the Best, uh, 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 as far as supporting actor, um, uh, should have been, um, what's the name, the guy that, that I think he walked, walked away with? with what, what, what? Yeah, they put him They put him under the Best Supporting Actor, right, is, uh, what's that boy, Daniel Kaluuya? Okay, everybody thinks because, they, everybody thinks because this film is supposed, ostensibly supposed to be about Fred Hampton, it's not about Fred Hampton, it's called Judas and the Black Messiah. Judas, it's about Judas, the stuff that happens to Judas, okay? In other words, the, the Keith Stanford character is actually the title character, where I say title, it's actually the main character. The, she, she, he should have been up for uh, best, best Actor. That's what it, that should be. Uh, Kaluuya shouldn't, well, he just, he wasn't, he shouldn't have been up for nothing. Let's put it that way. But, uh, uh, but Deborah Lindo should have been up for Best Supporting Actor, like that. As far as Chadwick Boseman, they want to honor him and everything like that. Well, that was nice and, and Danny, whatever have you. But uh, again, he was in an ensemble piece, even though he was the ensemble, he was the shining light in an ensemble piece. Um, but, you know, talking about Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, of course, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom is not about Ma Rainey, it's about the Black Bottom. I won't get into it, you know. <laughs> Even they put her up for best actor. No, that's an ensemble cast. That's why Chadwick Boseman is an ensemble. Anyway, this, it's just a mess anyway. Because they, they're trying to do this black politic thing, I guess. I don't know what they're doing. But let me get off of that. Still drinking water. Mm. Lada. Hey, alcohol free. Whatever, whatever, no, no, no fizzy drinks, no, no, not a very rare juice. I do some juice, but very rare. Water, agua. Yeah, I'm back. In, I'm back to my regular. I'm back to my. I'm back to my weight, but now I got to get my physique back in shape. But, but forget all that. There is a, there's a passing I do want to acknowledge, you know, and that is uh, the great Bob Fast. Bob Fast. Guess you don't know him. You may or may not know him. He's a radio. Another guy died earlier last year. Uh, that that that, uh, that did this. He was out of uh, Los Gatos, California. He's another radio pioneer. Well, anyway, all the radio pioneers are dying because radio is like a hundred years old, and most of these folks are, you know, well, they're close to a hundred. Bob Fast, I think he passed with like eighty nine. Hey, Bob. You know, so uh, let me tell you a couple of Bob Fast stories. One uh, that's on the internet, right? Uh, first of all, just know who Bob Fast. Was he's a broadcaster at WBAI in New York, which is uh, was a Pacifica station. He was been at BAI since the since the, the sixties. You know when he first came, he was he actually was trained like me as a stage manager. Hey, stage managers, we know what to do. Uh, anyway, uh, 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 he was a theater stage manager, also uh, uh, for uh, a, a television stage manager. Also, I believe well, maybe that was somebody else. Anyway, so he's a theater stage manager. I know that for sure. Um, uh, I met Bob when I first came to BAI. You know, we had a we had a a a a, 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 a typical relationship, a, a BAI relationship. I can't explain this to you. It's just that that's the way we roll at the BAI. You know. Uh, anyway, uh, but his most famous story, I believe, is now remember this is the '60s. This is no cell phones and stuff like that. This is just regular phone. And this was, a, yeah, I think it was a, it was must have been the '60s, not the '50s. It was the '60s, and he talked this guy out of committing suicide, live on the air. I should say, Bob Fast did these live on air programs. He's, he's, when you think of, say, you think of somebody like, uh, what's the shock job guy, uh, Howard Stern, right? Well, Howard Stern had to be listening to Bob Fast. Howard Stern's out there in Long Island, wherever he is, but he had to be listening to Bob Stern because, Bob, Bob Fast, because Bob Fast, you know, is out of New York, you know what I mean? And that's free form radio. You talk, you talk, you talk, you know, and you get on a, and you just roll. You can roll. That's that's what it is. So all these people, these free form radio, they think they all hot shot. No, Bob Fast is, is, is your granddaddy. You know, he's the one that did it all. Right. Uh, but he did this. He, he, he talked this guy out of committing suicide. Now, let me tell you something about WBA or Pacific in general. It used to be. I don't know about now. There's two rules. There's no fighting, no physical fighting at the stations. That's what and the second rule is you cannot. 
you do you do not knowingly lie. You can't knowingly lie on the air. If you know it's a lie, you can't then repeat it. If you know, so you know, if somebody said, "Hey, the, the world is flat," and then you can't just repeat the world is flat. You gotta like, "Hey, I know that's a lie because I researched it." And blah blah blah. You see what I'm saying? So Bob Fast, when talking down this guy about uh, committing suicide, you should listen to the whole thing. It's a fascinating study, and the guy was saying to to Bob, you know. Uh, you're 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 lying to me. And Bob said, "I'm not lying to you." And he didn't lie. Bob did not lie. Just listen to it. You understand? He, Bob did not lie. It was an extraordinary thing. And he kept the guy on. And this is the old time. He kept the guy on the phone long enough to that they, they had basically identified where he was. They sent the medics to him or whatever because I guess he took something, whatever he did, and they saved the guy's life. And years later, you know, they they had some sort of something happen and blah blah blah. But he lived he lived a pretty uh, a, a, a longer life than he would have lived. So that's one Bob Fast story. But the other Bob Fast story I want to tell you was kind of interesting. I, I know this personally. That, that's, that's you, like you can find that on YouTube, how Bob Fast talks somebody out of suicide. Just, just look it up on YouTube. But here's a personal Bob Fast story. Um, and when I left uh, WBI, as well as, you know, my, my job and all this stuff, and I went to doing my audio drama, well, you know, that's what I do, right? And so every once in a while, I come back to BAI and I would do something because I, I have a title. I'm Arch Director Emeritus for WBAI Radio, just in case you don't know, and that's official, right? So every once in a while, I would come to BAI and I would do stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, when we used to have drives, you know, membership drives, when you actually had people in a voluntary room, then or the volunteers' room, then I would, you know, I would do that because that's how I started at BAI, I would be in a volunteer on the phones. And then, you know, I would do all kinds of, do kinds of programs and stuff like that. Well, we had this one time, I think this is back, uh, this must have been back when, um, I think Bush, yeah, Bush, 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 the W, W, yeah, W was uh, on, yeah, it was W was on, and um, so we want they wanted to do something with um, the Constitution. In other words, what we would do is read the Constitution. But what we did was we had different people in the radio station read the con Constitution, and I would catch them, you know, now you know, all kinds of people, you know, like every, everybody was at the station at the time. Well, it Gary Bird, you know, I don't know. Bernard White, every people would just just now we have them read it, and then I, I actually I have to edit, it, you know, edit because sometimes people would do the arms and the uhs and the, and the, 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 the whatever have you. So, I, but some people, you know, I just like get, get them live and they'd be fine. But the most extraordinary person I got was Bob Fast. His program called Radio Unnameable has been on for years. It came on uh, basically uh, late at night, like two o'clock in the morning. It was, it was late at night. Um, and so uh, nobody was, it was maybe it was just twelve to three. Whenever it was, you know, whenever it came on, it came on on a, on a Thursday night. As a matter of fact, Thursday night to Friday morning. And uh, and so I had to get I wanted to get him reading a section of the Constitution, right? And I said, well, Bob, you know, da da da. He said, well, you know, da, 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 you know. He said, I said, look, why don't you just read it on the program? You know, I just I recorded from the other studio. This is where we was at five hundred five Fifth Avenue. I said, recorded from the other studio. Just read, you know, read 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 this section here on the program. So. Here's the thing. So Bob, Bob's noted as a as a as a as a, a, a marijuana smoker. Let's put a ganja smoker, as we say in, in Africa. Uh, and so what he did, and I was I was there. He went he went to the stairwell there, whatever have you, before he got on the program, and he smoked. He's toked, you know. Okay. So now the boy's toked up. You know, how will he do? You know, da da da. So he gets on the thing and said, well, you know, I don't know what he said, but I got to we're going to read this, blah, blah, blah. So he read the Constitution on the air, with that port, that section of the Constitution on the air. No mistakes, no ums, no ahs, no, 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 nothing like that, right? Perfect, what we call, when you're an engineer and you got, and you, you can see where people are going, like, like, like perfect VU meter, like we call 12 o'clock high, but you know, perfect VU right there, right there, right before, red is over here. And the sweet spot is right, right around there. He was right there the whole time. Remember, I'm an engineer, so I'm seeing this stuff, right? I didn't have to do anything. I, get, I identified the beginning, identified the end, and that went through. No mistakes, no nothing, no over overmodulation, nothing like that. Amazing. This is what being in radio for that long and being freeform radio really means. No script, no, 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 no. Live. This is why I do live audio drama. So, look, condolences to uh, to 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 Lynn, his, his wife, and 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 all and all us uh, radio uh, uh, children. We all his radio children. No matter what, no, even if you don't like Bob, you know, you know, me and Bob had issues, but that was all right. But we always straighten stuff out because that's the way we are, right? 
we have family at WBI. Well, disjointed family. Some of us get along. Some of us just just won't squash any beefs like that. So anyway, um, 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 uh, like I said, condolences. is a sad, sad day in, in, in uh, independent radio, in uh, what we call freeform radio, what we call uh, community, real community radio, not this NPR business, you know what I mean? Not this, you know, part corporate, part, no, no, no. This is totally listener-sponsored radio. This is, uh, this is what, what, what it is. Okay, so I just had to acknowledge uh, Bob because, you know, we loved him dearly. Y'all take care and, uh, you know, see you again. Some other time, a little message from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.